Hello everybody, this is Technoli, and today we are going to continue part two of the Fixing Problems series. With uh, Big Sur, Monterey, these newer OSs that are coming out, we have some things we have to just get around. Um, so with this particular motherboard, and if you remember, this is the MSI B460M Pro with Wi-Fi, okay? So with this particular motherboard, we had an issue with audio not working, and of course, a common issue is USB 3 is not working with Big Sur and of course Monterey. So let's jump into why or how we can get the audio to work. So just go over to my website or you can do a search for Hack and Tool, but I've got it right here for you if you want to download it. Right here is Hack and Tool. Okay, I've already got it downloaded right here. Uh, we're going to need that. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and um, open up Open Core again, and we're going to use tools to mount the EFI. Now, mine's already mounted, but you would click Mount and then put in your uh, passcode for your system. And then you can open up the partition. Okay, so I double click on the EFI, double click on OC, and then right click and open with Open Core Configurator. Okay, now I just want to jump down here to NVRAM and find our boot arguments. And right here, this ALCID equals 1, this is typically works for most motherboards to get audio to work, okay? But this one doesn't, and here's how you can find a different value or a different ID layout, okay? So open up Hacking Tool. And go right over here to sound and you'll come down here to where it says ALC layout ID now it shows one and if I look at my outputs for audio I do have my monitor because my monitor has built-in speakers so I do show this and layout one of course would get my HDMI to work but my actual sound device my sound card basically a sound device on the motherboard is not working so I click on this down arrow and here's some different ID layouts to try so I'll put in 66 to start with and see if that works so I'll just go over here change this to 66 hit enter and then we will save okay so let's reboot and let's see if we show the uh, audio devices working, okay? Be right back. Okay, guys, coming back up here. And let's see if we now have our sound device working on the motherboard. We'll go over here, click on sound, and there we go. We got our built-in speakers, digital out, and our HDMI and our input so that's how we got the audio to work on this one pretty simple process now USB 3's now this is a little different animal okay um, I want you to go ahead and use hacking tool on this too we'll open this up and I'll stretch this out a little bit and I want to click on PCIe right here and let me stretch this out so you can see what's going on. See the USB controller, serial bus controller on the motherboard, right? Well, come over here and look at the device number for it, okay? And it's A3AF. Okay, now, most of these motherboards cannot find this or do not do not have this built into the software this particular address is what I've been able to find so what we have to do is just make a little edit so we'll go over to open core's website go over here to open core and we'll 
go to the section that has gathering files. Okay, click on that. And then you can come right down here and click on USB to get you down there quicker. And what I want you to do is just grab this. It's a kext file. Let's download it. And we're going to edit it. Okay, now this fixes, as you could see, this is needed for non-native USB controllers. Okay, so what is happening here is the motherboard has a non-native USB controller address. Okay, now it says common on these motherboards, but we're finding it to be common on others as well. Um, now it says ASRock down here or Intel motherboards, especially B460, which ours is a B460. So let's go ahead and close out of here. We've got it downloaded and let's open it up. Now we're gonna need to have um, a way to look at the file. So let's go over here and go to downloads. And there it is, there it is, okay. and. Um, we want to find the kext, right? There's the kext. So let's take it out here so I can show you easily how this is working. And then right click and show package contents, double click. And this is the file that we need to fix. So we're gonna use proper tree to do this, all right? Now remember in the first video I told you that proper tree doesn't work yet on Monterey. So we're gonna fix that real quick too. So let's double click on proper tree. And then if I try to open this, you'll see, I just get a black screen. So what we need to do is let's close this out and let's go back over here and go to scripts. Let's right click on build app select command and open and then open, and it wants you to install Python. So we'll go ahead and install it. Agree? And as soon as this is done, I'll be back. Now after that downloads, I want you to go ahead and go over to the internet and type in Python. And we want a Python download. And just click on the main thing there and download Python 3.9 and then we're going to install it. Okay, continue, continue, agree, install, password. Okay. As soon as this is done, we'll come back again. Okay, it's all done. So let's go ahead and click on uh, Python Launcher and everything looks fine there. We'll go back, close this out. Keep it or move it to the trash, whichever you like. Then we'll go back over to build app select and open it up again. And you'll see you have a lot more selections here. So I'm gonna press number three, which is the one we just downloaded, okay. Now we should be able to open up proper tree. There you go. So now I can edit. All right, so what we need to do is go back to, let me show you again. I'll go back here, right click, show package contents, and then double click on contents, and then drag this info P list out to the desktop, okay? And just scoot this over here for a second. Now I'm going to go up to File, Open, and I'm going to go to the desktop and open that plist up. So now I can get in here and see what's going on, all right? And I can do my little edits or whatever I need to do. So let's go back to Hacking Tool, and if you'll remember, the Serial Bus Controller is 0xA3AF. All right, so let's look on this text and see if we find anything close to that. So you'll see different motherboard model 
versions here. But what we're looking for is this right here, 0x2a2af, all right? So that's our problem. Let's just change this to a3, okay? So we hit on that, and that matches our a3af here, so a3af, okay? We'll just save it. Okay, now we need to put this info plist back in the contents folder. Okay, so we've got this text back in here, but it's all edited and ready to use. So let's go up here to the computer. We'll go to the EFI, EFI OC, and it's a kex, so we want to put it in the kext folder. So we'll just drag and drop and put it in here. Okay. We still have USB inject all. All right. So let's close out of here. Let's go into proper tree. Open it up. And let's make sure if you don't do this, then what we just did with putting that text in there won't help us. Config.plist. Open it up. And we go down here to where the kext are. And you'll see there is no kext, this uh, XHCI. So we'll just go up here and do an OC snapshot and making sure that it goes to EFI, EFI, OC, click choose. And then we're gonna go up here and do a clean snapshot. Just making sure, okay? So now if I go down here we will find that text, which is right there. Okay, so now it's in the system. So let's go back here, let's save it. Let's reboot and see if we have USB 3s, okay? Be right back. All right, we're back up. Put in our password. Now, I'm gonna grab a USB 3. In fact, this is the, the USB that I use to um, install the OS on. So I'm going to put it into a blue port, which is USB 3. And there we go. All right. So now you could go ahead and do your USB port mapping, which we'll do in the next video. But I'll just show you a, a couple of uh, USB 3s. None of these were working before. And I'll plug it in a different one and the back of the board. And so you can see all my USB 3s are working just because that address was not right. So there you go, guys. I hope that helps you get your USB 3s working and your audio. So uh, in the next video, we're gonna tackle the USB port mapping and that will be video number three on this series, okay? So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.